So today we're going to talk about the six things that your muscles will tell you about your nutrient status. Fairly quick video, but very, very um, important if you have any problem with your muscles. The muscle is an organ, and it's a great indicator of all sorts of nutritional deficiencies in the body. Let's just kind of go through it. All right, number one, if you have pain in your muscle or inflammation, um, could be vitamin D deficiency. Most people are deficient in vitamin D. It's very, very common. And especially if you have low back pain in general, maybe not necessarily in the muscles, but just low back pain, take vitamin D because vitamin D is a great anti-inflammatory um, and it'll definitely get rid of muscle pain itself. Okay, next thing is low recovery from exercise. So you work out, but you're sore and you can't get rid of the soreness. It takes way too long. Uh, it could be uh, an omega-3 fatty acid deficiency. I'm talking about DHA and EPA, fish oils, cod liver oil. You can also get your omega-3 from algae. And this is very common as well. A lot of people don't eat enough fish. They don't take fish oils. They definitely don't take cod liver oil. And so they, they may notice that when they work out, it's just their, their recovery is very, very low. Okay, next thing is burning in the muscles. And this would also be restless leg syndrome. That could be a condition called lactic acidosis, where there's too much lactic acid in the muscle. Believe it or not, I used to have this in my 20s, really bad with my lower legs. I'd wake up in the middle of the night with my legs burning and, and um, feeling very, very energetic, and I had to go run in the middle of the night to get this energy out. This is a classic vitamin B1 deficiency. Where does this come from? Well, too many refined carbohydrates and sugars. Guilty as charged. I used to do a ton of sugar and ice cream right before bed. And I always wondered why I'd get up in the middle of the night and have to, you know, have this burning in my legs. So it's just incomplete uh, carbohydrate metabolism. Nutritional yeast is, is the key with that. And avoid the sugar, okay? And the burning will go away. So vitamin B1 gets rid of lactic acid. Next thing is twitching or tetany. So you have a little twitch you know, underneath your eyelid or an arm. It's just this little twitching. That's a low calcium situation. Now you could take calcium. And I always recommend taking like a calcium lactate or a calcium magnesium type combination, not calcium carbonate. But here's the thing. If you're doing enough calcium uh, foods like some cheese or even calcium in the vegetables, it could be not a problem with calcium. It could be that you're just too alkaline. If you're too alkaline, you'll have a problem with calcium depositing on the nerves, creating a, a little twitching. And so what you can do is just take apple cider vinegar, and that should get rid of the twitching very, very quickly. Now, where does this come from? This comes from the overconsumption of refined carbohydrates and sugar, as well as stress. Both stress and carbs will create this state right here. Now, you probably were thinking it's going to create more of an acidic state, but in actuality, it, it can create more of an alkaline state. So it's either low calcium or you're too alkaline. Cramps in the muscle. That's usually a potassium deficiency, magnesium deficiency, or a sodium deficiency. So you need salt or these electrolytes. Okay, I would start here, then go to here, and then go to here or just take all of these together. Next one, this is quite amazing. If your muscles are weak and you just feel like you go up a flight of stairs and you, I don't know, your legs don't move or your legs get heavier or you just have weak muscles, vitamin E is the fastest thing to make a weak muscle strong. The, the type of vitamin E that you need is Tocotrienols, okay, you can get a blend of tocopherols and tocotrienols, but if you have the option, I would get the tocotrienols because they work pretty fast. And um, normally you can get the tocopherols, which is like alpha, beta, delta, gamma. You can get that from your food very easily, but it's very difficult to get the other part of the vitamin E complex, tocotrienols, which is alpha, beta, delta, gamma, from the food. So you can take that and notice how strong your muscles get. This can really be helpful during exercise as well. So these are the one, two, three, four, five, six things that your muscles can tell you about your nutrient status.